Catch me if you can. Grandpa! No, be careful! Grandpa, stop! This is me, Jason Mason, and I live here in Sunny Sands. It's called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. This is Mr Whoops' toy shop, where you can buy anything and everything. And here's Miss Smiley's Cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. My dad loves working in his bike shop and we all love spending time at our beach hut on the beach. This is my house where I live with my mum, dad, sister Jemima, grandpa and his dog Beowulf. Beowulf is a very clever dog and he loves playing games. In fact, we all love playing games and today we were playing table football. Dad had borrowed a table football game for the weekend. I was on the red team with Grandpa and Dad and Jemima were on the blue team. The whole family had got into the football mood. Jemima had even dressed her dolls, Peter and Persephone, in football kit. Go! Grandpa, <laughs> you scored again! Oh, well, I've always been good at football. Shame you can't play anymore, Grandpa. Yeah, it's a great shame. Then Mum came into the garden. She just had a phone call. I've just had a phone call. Guess who's coming over? Cousin Alvin. I told him about the table football. He can't wait to have a go. But I thought Alvin didn't like sport. He didn't, but he does now. Cousin Alvin is always changing. Sometimes he's into playing music. Sometimes he's into eating ice cream. Sometimes he's into dancing. And sometimes he's into lying about on the sofa doing absolutely nothing. But now Cousin Alvin was into this. Sport, sport and more sport. Don't overdo it, Alvin. I'm OK. I need to get really fit so I can win at everything. Oh, so you're into winning, are you? Of course. There's no point in playing if you can't win. Yes, this was the day we discovered that Cousin Alvin was... in it to win it. Go! That's another And it one. wasn't long before Alvin was winning at table football. 3-0! 3-0! I knew what Grandpa was thinking. Let's make it four. I think I'll go for a little lie down. Go! can't stand much more of this. We've got to make Alvin see that it's okay to lose. He'll never see that. He just might if my plan works. Only I need to be small. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of things. He can drive off in my car. He can even fly off in my plane. Grandpa! He can chuff about in our Sunny Sands train. He can get into all sorts of very small places. Or he can just run for all he's worth. And he wasn't the only one running. Alvin was making everyone jog on the spot to see who could keep going the longest. First, Mum gave up. I don't think I was meant to run. And then Dad. Sorry, I can't take any more. And finally, Jemima. You're too good, Alvin. 
And you I'd be you. I am the champion. I it was time to put Grandpa's plan into action. So, what game should we play next then? Don't look at me. I'm worn out. I think I'll go for a little lie down like Grandpa. How about some real football? Or rugby? I needed to get Alvin inside. I needed an idea, and I needed it fast. How about Snap? Snap? Might not have been my best idea. That's not a sport. Are you saying you couldn't beat us at Snap then? I could easily beat you at Snap. Bring it on! So we went inside and started playing Snap. Your turn, Jason. No stopping allowed. Snap! <laughs> you two are so slow. Alvin was winning again. If Grandpa was going to do something, he needed to do it now. Ow! Something just near me on the ankle. Has Beowulf got fleas? No! Of course, I knew it wasn't a flea. It was Grandpa. Ow! Snap! That's not fair! You're the one who said no stopping allowed, Alvin. But I'm being attacked by a pesky little flea. I'm not playing anymore. It's a baby's game anyway. Who cares about winning a snap? I want to play a proper sport. What else have you got? So Jemima suggested we play our tennis game. Great. I'll easily beat you. <laughs> well, you got Evan to lose, Grandpa. But he didn't find it fun. It's got to be worth another try. Anyway, I'm rather enjoying being a pesky little flea. <laughs> so Mum got the tennis game out of the garage. And Jemima and Alvin started to play. The pesky little flea ran into the garden and hid behind a flower pot right next to Alvin. I was really worried that Grandpa would be spotted. But luckily, everybody had their eyes on the ball. So they didn't see the flea creep out and nip Alvin on the ankle. Ow, ow! It's that flea again! I won! No, you didn't. I think she did, Alvin. I don't want to play anymore. Nor am I. You're such a bad loser. I didn't even lose. Yes, you did. I'll make some lunch. The good news was Jemima had won the game. The bad news was that she and Alvin had fallen out. I think you better stop being a flea, Grandpa. It's just making things worse, and now nobody's having fun. Don't you worry, Jason. I've got a much better idea. You go and ask Alvin if he'd like to play table football with you. I'll do the rest. OK, I'll easily beat you at table football. As long as I don't get bitten again. I want to give that dog a bath. So I went into the garden with Alvin. I had no idea what Grandpa was planning until I saw this. Grandpa had taken his clothes off and put Peter's football kit on. This time Grandpa had gone too far. He was standing on the table pretending to be one of the footballers. Can I be the red team please? Yes, OK. Ready to play? Beginner's luck. Luckily, Alvin was so busy trying to win that he didn't notice that I had an extra player or that it was my extra player who was scoring all the goals. 2-0! 3 nil. That was lucky. 4 nil. Go, go, go! <sighs> seen anyone play like you. How do you do it? Oh, I just relax and try to have fun. You mean, you don't care about winning? Not really. Weird. Goal! Six nil! Yes! Well, this not caring thing seems to work. Maybe you should try it. At six nil down, I'm willing to try anything. Come on, let's go for it. We played on. Grandpa was doing a great job for my team, and as for Alvin, well, he started not to care so much. And the less he cared about winning, the more he started to have fun. Goal! At last! 6-1. Good shot. Thanks. Goal! 
Nice one, Jason. Thanks. I don't believe it. Alvin's losing and he's enjoying himself. This was definitely worth waking up for. Cool! That's it. You've won, Jason. I don't know how he does it. He's an incredible player. Well done, Alvin. Come and have some lunch. Of course I couldn't tell him that the really incredible player was Grandpa. Oh, I really enjoyed that, but I think I'd better go and get changed now. I picked Grandpa up, put him in my pockets, and rushed back indoors. I'm sorry I was so annoying earlier, Jemima. I just wanted to win too much. That's OK. We can play table football again after lunch, if you like. Great. I'll easily beat you at table football. Only joking. <laughs> I put Grandpa down on the floor. He whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Oh, oh, we did it, Jason. We got Alvin to have fun even when he was losing. Ah, teamwork, eh? Yes, Grandpa, <laughs> teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> You missed a great game. Did I? We're going to play again. Do you want to join us? Oh, no, thank you, Alvin. I'm a bit too tired to play football. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, you don't have to actually play. You're so funny. Come on, Alvin. Ever since she could remember, Mist had wanted to compete in a sheepdog trial, a special event in which working dogs like her round up sheep in front of spectators and a judge. As a puppy, she used to talk endlessly with her brother Storm and sister Drift about one day being the number one sheepdog. Someday, Drift, I'll be the best sheepdog in the world! And you'll win a shiny cup as big as a kennel. With top marks from the judges. And clapping and cheering from the crowd. And even when Storm and Drift had left Butter Farm, Mist still daydreamed about that magical day in the future. Her first trial. <gasps> We're here! Today was that day. never seen so many different people and dogs. There were spaniels and whippets, big brown dogs, big black dogs, labradors, terriers, alsatians. Some of them were unlike any of the butter farm dogs. Hey, Shirley, there's a new one. Look. Oh, and doesn't she look nervous, poor love? Whilst others were strangely familiar. Hey, Drift. Look at that dog with the dark face. Looks a bit like... No, no. I'm imagining things. 
As the boss paused to greet some friends, a cheery black dog approached Mist. Hello, mate. First time? Oh, yes, yes. I've never been before. All a bit much, innit? Don't sweat it, though. It'll all come natural once you're out with the sheep. Uh, I hope so. Mist watched the dog on the trial course, driving five sheep through two gates and into a pen. It really didn't look that difficult. She thought she might have to round up hundreds of sheep or even rams. It should be no problem to pick up marks from the judge with only five sheep to worry about. Hi, thank you, Norman. And the next to run is... When the boss stopped to chat to more old friends, Mist made conversation with three other collies. Hello. It's my first time. I'm Mist, by the way. What are your names? Oh. Names? Names? Names are for dog bowls and fluffy baskets. I am known only as... Number One! <gasps> oh, I... Uh, Don't I... mention the I! Sorry, uh, I... Don't mention the I! I... I... You I... want to know about my I? What? No. What I? Hmm? So, only the five sheep then. Number one! Number one! Yes, Mr. Barkalut. Did you hear? She thinks it's easy. You think five sheep are easy, do you? Do you? No, 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 I didn't mean that. It's all right, Mist. Ah, look, she's still the boss's little baby. <laughs> little baby likes a patty on the head. <laughs> now listen closely, Mr. Dog. Nobody beats me at this trial, you understand, pup? Nobody. So you may as well give up now and go home to your nice little basket and doggy biscuits. <laughs> Biscuits, oh! <laughs> Silence! Mr. Baitalot. So oh, sorry. Mist grew angry. How could right, they be so like mean them. to a harmless like stranger? Give up now, Mr. Dog! You will fail! She wanted more than anything to put that nasty gang in their place. To prove that she was a good sheepdog. Was there anything she could do? to make sure number one and his gang would never forget her. The next to run is Miss of Burrow Farm. Come on, Miss, off we go. Hello here. Miss? Hey, Storm, it is Miss. I told ya. The boss walked Mist to the starting post. Her brain raced. What will show that horrible lot that I am as good as they are? What will get me hundreds and hundreds of points from the judge? At that moment, Mist spotted an opening in the far corner of the field. And a whole flock of sheep. That's it! The judges raised their white flag and Mist's trial began. Owls. Oh no, Mist! What are you doing? You're going the wrong way! Sure enough. Mist was running full speed in the wrong direction, away from the five trial sheep and towards a gap in the hedge in the far corner of the field. Where's she off to? Whatever here, my dear. What on earth is she doing? <laughs> the little puppy doesn't know her left from her right. Mist sped with great purpose towards the corner of the field and vanished. The crowd fell silent. Sure enough, Mist came bolting back into the trial field, driving an entire flock of ewes. Who's number one now, hey? I can't believe it. She's got a whole army of them. But is that good or bad? Bad! She'll be disqualified for that. Oh, I can't look. <coughs> Mist continued to push the flock towards the crowd. Through one set of gates, then expertly turning them around and through the second set. But she was unaware that by gathering the wrong sheep, she had broken every rule in the competition. 
Miss was so pleased with herself that she completely forgot to listen to the boss. Lay down now, stop! Who was so cross he looked like he might explode. What? Why does the boss look so cross? Oh no! She stopped! But, but the, the sheep are still coming! Oh no! No! Come back! But it was too late. The flock bolted for the nearest exit, which was past the judge's trailer and into the crowd. Ah, <laughs> 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 you stupid pup! Stop this! <laughs> oh, Doris! Save me! I'm allergic to sheep! Everybody stay calm. Ah, there's a sheep in my trailer. Hello here, come here. No, miss, hello. Miss is disqualified. When the chaos died down, Mist walked the walk of shame back to the Land Rover. Oh dear. Not so full of yourself now, are you? I see why they call you Mist. You totally missed the point. <laughs> <laughs> you messed it up. <laughs> Mist hadn't felt so sad since, well, since Storm and Drift were taken away as puppies. Mist? Mist, over here. Mist looked up. Could it really be? Drift? It's me! See? White Ear! And me! Storm! Storm? Drift? It is you! We always come to these trials! And they're usually boring! But you were amazing, Mist! What? But I was disqualified! It doesn't matter! It was brilliant! <coughs> and hilarious! We wouldn't have missed it for the world! The sight of her long-lost brother and sister put all of the misery out of her mind. She didn't care at all that she wasn't number one. This was a prize far greater than any trophy. And we'll be here again to see Miss Dawn Windcutter down.